Hello, how's it going? I'm Andy, and welcome back to episode 12 of Scratch Building Basics. In this episode, I plan on building a bot from a PVC pipe and a few other bits, uh, bits and pieces of the usual junk. And I've already built some pretty basic bots using the PVC pipe. If you want to go and check those videos out. But uh, for this one, I want to try and just improve on the design a wee bit and just try and improve his look. So yeah, that's a plan for this video. And if you've uh, watched any of my other videos, you've probably noticed I'm in a different room. Which is pretty exciting. And um, my girlfriend Mel kindly allowed me to uh, take over the, the front room in our wee flat. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm still in the stages of getting moved in. I've still a few things to do, but it's getting there. So I'll give you a wee show round. Or I'll give you a wee tour uh, later on. Uh, so for now, yep, let's get into it. Alrighty. Uh, so like I was saying, I already built some uh, PVC pipe bots. And they were fairly simple, uh, just a piece of PVC pipe and I stuck some styrene on the top and bottom and then I used some wire coat hanger just for the arms and legs and then to bulk out the arms just cut some sections of PVC pipe and stuck those together in like a box section and then I cut a wee piece out for the feet and that's about it, fairly simple um, but for this one I'm gonna round the head off and I'm gonna use aluminium wire this time instead, or aluminum wire, sorry, <laughs> instead of the wire coat hanger. And then I'll bulk out the arms in the same way, just with some pieces of PVC pipe like before. And same again with the feet, just a couple of pieces of PVC pipe with styrene on the bottom. And then I'll bulk out my legs a wee bit more on my arms with some uh, bendy straw pieces. And then I'll use some uh, plastic tubing, probably from a, a felt tip pen, or maybe from the inside of a spray bottle. i just bulk them out a bit more. So yeah, for the, the arm construction, I've cut my PVC pipe into sections like so and, uh, and then take four of those sections and stick them together into, like like I was saying, like a box section and then I'll take my Stanley knife and just round the edges off a wee bit and tidy it up a wee bit and uh, for the feet, something similar, just cut a larger section of the PVC pipe and then stick some styrene to the base and to the front and back and then same with the, the arm section, I'll stick some styrene on the top and bottom sort of thing. And then I've got my armature wire, for it just for connecting the arms and legs to the body. And I'm going to take the, the serrated bits or the bendy bits out of bendy straws. And just use that to bulk up the arms and legs a wee bit. And I'm just thinking it'll give it a wee bit of form, a wee bit of shape. Hopefully something like that. And then I'll take uh, some plastic tubing, pr probably a felt tip tube, a felt tip pen, and uh, cut it into sort of this sort of shape, like a, almost like a shin pad sort of shape. And that should slide on over the, the bendy parts of the straws and just bulk out that leg a wee bit more. Something like that. So that's the plan anyway, let's get building. So these guys are my first uh, PVC pipe bot build. This is the, the Canhead crew. And I love these guys, they're brilliant, I think they turned out great. So I'll just keep them up there to keep them in mind. Um, so yeah, I took my piece of pipe and half my ping pong ball, uh, which just fits perfectly on top, which is super handy. I sealed the bottom off there with a piece of styrene and keep the offcut always. And then before I stuck the lid to the bottom there, uh, I used my Stanley knife just to peel back those edges a wee bit, just to make it look a bit less like a lid, really. And uh, yeah, and that, that's pretty much it for the body. Then I'll just grab all my pre-cut pieces here for the arms and the legs and just like I was saying cut these from a uh, PVC pipe uh, pretty much the same as before maybe just a wee bit bigger but uh, yep I'll take these and hopefully this off cut will be big enough yes it is that'll, that'll finish the feet off and then I'll take my pieces and just stick them together sort of like this and yeah I'll see better when I'm sticking it but uh, yeah just get my glue and my baking powder I'll put all my pieces, well half the pieces anyway, into the baking powder first and sort of stick the edge that I'm going to glue into the baking powder just to try and get some of the baking powder into the into the grain kind of thing. It, uh, it, it works a treat, you'll see. And then so I'll glue one side and then take my piece out of the baking powder and pretty much when I touch this piece of the glue it grabs straight away so I want to try and get it pretty spot on. And then I'll just give it a bit of extra seasoning and give it a bit of a shake and a tap and a usual blow. I don't know why I always blow on stuff. I seem to be blowing on stuff an awful lot. But yeah, and that is a bit straight away. 
and just do the rest here and get them all prepped. So that's those all stuck and I can take two of these and just carefully glue them together and uh, again plenty of glue, plenty of baking powder and uh, the glue, uh, there's still enough play in it uh, that I can sort of square everything up and, and just make sure everything's lined up properly and always add a bit more glue there just for luck. Already got the feet started there, I uh, just need to stick a bit of styrene on the front and the back there just to close that off. I'll just get these arms finished first. Um, I'll take my styrene and use it to close it off, top and bottom. Uh, I'll stick it, plenty of glue, and then trim it. And then use plenty of seasoning just to make sure it's a good strong bond. And get those done, and then they'll just need trimmed down and tidied up. And now I'll just get the feet sorted. Um, use this off cut here, lucky enough it just fits. And So same again, just plenty of glue, stick it, trim it, plenty of seasoning, make sure it sticks. And that's everything glued up. I can just get it all trimmed and tidied now. Um, I'll take my scissors first and use them just to cut off most of the bulk. And then I'll come back with my Stanley knife and tidy it up a wee bit more and just round those edges off and kind of cut a few lumps out of it and just round it off a bit sort of towards the front where it would get more wear. And uh, I'll, I'll cut a wee bit deep there so I can just, uh, it's no problem, I'll just plug it up with some glue and some baking powder. That'll plug that hole up. And for the arms, it's pretty much the same again. Just trim the bulk off with my scissors and then come back with my Stanley knife, trim it a wee bit more, round off those edges, maybe take some chunks out for some damage. And then for the arms on the side that the fingers are going to be on, I like to wear those edges a wee bit more and just take some more chunks out around that area. So yeah, I'll just get the rest of these done and then I can start marking some holes out for the wire for the fingers and just where they're going to join into the body. So this is the side that will be attaching to the body. So I'll just mark the centre here first and then I'll mark the hole that I'm going to drill uh, just slightly off centre. And that just means that it sort of holds the arms away from the, the body a wee bit. And then I'll mark the, the finger holes on the other side and making sure that I do opposites as in a left and a right because I've done that before where I've made two left hands or two right hands so yeah just, just make sure you do opposites and onto the feet I'll just use the mat there to find the center line and then I'll mark my holes just slightly off center as uh, towards the body and that just sort of widens the stance a wee bit and then I'll get the holes drilled in the body there for his arms and legs to go into and I'll just grab my aluminium wire here so I can show you. And um, my plan is uh, to use these bendy straw bits and uh, to bulk out the wire a wee bit. And then I'll cut some small pieces of this tube. It's just a felt tip tube. I'll just cut some small pieces like a wee shin guard and then just slide that over the over the bendy straw bits. Alrighty, so holes drilled. I can start putting this guy together. Um, so I'll put a shin guards on here first, uh, just so I, I won't be able to put those on after. So get those slid on, and uh, I've already got the bendy straws glued on there, plenty of glue, plenty of baking powder, and uh, I'll get the legs glued up with plenty of glue, and don't get it on the new mat, you idiot. Oh, what if I'm keeping this new mat so clean? So, legs glued, uh, I'll just get them standing sort of how I want them here, and then I'll hit them with some miter bond, uh, so I don't have to sit here waiting while the glue dries. Just make sure everything's where I want it before I hit it with this miter bond because it literally sets the glue straight away. It's brilliant stuff. I would highly recommend it. And uh, then I'll go back in with some more glue just to reinforce it. I just want to make sure these legs are well glued. Then just check his stance. Make sure he's nice and stable. Maybe give him a wee bit of an adjustment. I can still get a wee bit of bend out of the wire. And then move on and get his shin guards glued. I'll get a wee dab of glue on those and then hit them with a wee bit of uh, baking powder uh, just to make sure that's a good strong bond and that's the legs done and I can move on and get the hands sorted uh, but what about a wee room tour first? Alrighty, this is it this is my workstation and my recording setup and my new blue chair there that Morse gave my thanks Mo for that uh, when I was working in the other room I had to pack all this up and set it up again every time I wanted to record and then over here I've got some shelves with all my, my bills and stuff on it. I've got my ships and my bats and 
a few things are made from Sculpey, and uh, this is all, it's not really permanent at the minute, it's just kind of thrown everywhere at the minute, I'll get it all sorted out eventually. But yeah, then this shelf, a few more skulls there from Sculpey, a few older, older projects and a few more bots and stuff, prototypes. And yeah, those upper shelves is just sort of junk I need to get sorted. And a black box here, that's actually the hot rod ship that needs to be posted to Wallace, well done Wallace for winning that. And then down here, just keep my paints and my, my lacquers and stuff. I've got a pair of uh, paint and marigolds there. And then my bits are all over here. I've got my, my bits sort of half sorted out. A few more carvings there. And yeah, that's my spray bottle bits and my lids. And my light there that my dad gave me. Thanks very much, Dad. That's coming in very useful. And then those shoe boxes are all uh, bits boxes. And again, the two upper shelves I'd still need to get sorted. So yeah, love it. Having a ball in here. So thank you, Mel. And uh, back to the build. Alrighty, so Hans, I've already got all the holes drilled out and the wire glued in here. And to bulk up the fingers, I've just took the plastic tubing from inside a spray bottle and just cut it up into wee pieces. And that's going to work perfect. Uh, I used it on the last ones, it is quite good. Uh, so get my glue on first and then put one piece on. And uh, then I've left the wire nice and long and that makes it easier to bend in the shape. And then I can put my second piece on and trim the wire. Just add some seasoning before I put the second piece on. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying my very best to keep this new mat clean. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll get this uh, glue, some more glue added, get my second piece on, and then bend the finger to shape. And leaving that extra length really does help make it less of a, a fiddly job bending the finger to shape. And you could probably bend the fingers first, but it would just make it a wee bit harder sliding the, the pieces of plastic on. But yeah, whatever works. And I'll just get the last piece stuck on my thumb here. And get it bent to shape. But yeah, I'll cut these excess wires out of the way first. They're just getting in the way a bit of the thumb. I'll just get this looking the way I want it. And trim off a wee bit extra there. Trim that off. And that's one hand done. I'll just get the other one done now. And get them glued on. Something like this. Arms done. Looking good. And now for some more details. And uh, what I've done is I've cut another wee piece of PVC pipe and just used my Stanley knife to round off the edges a wee bit, take some chunks out just to make it look a wee bit more like metal. And this is gonna be like a face plate type thing, you know, similar to, to the, the first ones that I've done. And I'll stick that about there. Something like that. And then my dad had to pull up his floorboards, but he found these wee pieces of pipe and kept them for me. So, cheers dad. Uh, so I'm going to cut those into wee sections and then cut those in half and they're going to make like uh, sort of shoulder pads. And that's just going to give me a place to stick some fake nails to. Uh, uh, thanks to Romart for that one. I'm going to leave a wee link in the description for his channel. He's got some pretty cool ideas. So yep, yeah. and then again my dad was clearing out his shed and he found these weird sort of teddy bear eyes and I think that's going to make a good sort of eye or, or front sensor anyway maybe two and maybe one I'll, I'll see and then I've got another piece here from inside a spray bottle that's going to make like another wee sort of eye and that same stuck on I just went for one teddy bear eye there wasn't really room for for both of them and uh, that can get his uh, shoulder bits stuck on just the usual treatment, plenty of glue, plenty of baking powder, and get them stuck on, and then I can go ahead and glue the, the fake nails to those. And full credit to Romart for this idea of using the fake nails, um, and thank you to Mel for picking some up for me in the bargain bin, they were dirt cheap apparently. So I'll just get those stuck on, maybe a couple on the shoulders, and then maybe one as like a shin pad. Something like this. Alrighty, moving on, maybe start getting some details on his back here. I've got this piece from a spray bottle. I've already sanded the edge and, and rounded it off there, uh, just so it fits nice and snug on his back, a nice close fit. And uh, so I'm going to use that, but along with that, I've got another piece from inside a different spray bottle. I think it's a hand pump, a soap dispenser, and it just fits on perfect there. And then on top of that, I'll add, this is a soy sauce cap. 
and it, it to me it makes pretty good like radar sort of thing and so that's that and then just to bulk it out a wee bit more I've got another piece from inside a spray bottle <laughs> and I'll stick it on about there and uh, again the, these plastics are really really shiny and waxy so we really have to sand it oh I nearly forgot I've got one more teddy bear eye so I'll, I'll stick it in there just to cover that hole up and yeah everything's already nice and sanded nice and roughed up so it glues up well so that's everything on this is communications backpack He's got his radar there, a few outlets for his engine, maybe an intake port. And yeah, looking good, ready for rivets. So, uh, because I've been having some trouble with my laptop, I'm back to editing on my phone. Uh, I originally filmed the making of another bat, uh, but unfortunately I lost that footage. Uh, but it's all good, at least uh, this guy gets some friends. So this is Pyro. Um, I used some uh, soap dispenser tops there for his flamethrowers. And a couple of Kinder Egg eggs there for some tanks. And there's a part of a felt tip pen, some spray bottle parts, and some shoulder pads. And then this is Vector. Uh, same again, spray bottle parts. Uh, the guns on his arms are they're from the tops of deodorant tins. And yep, arms and legs made the same way. So that's uh, Pyro, Vector, and Comms, the, the three PVC pipe bots. <laughs> So unfortunately in this video I'm not really going to have time to paint them, but I'll get them riveted and, uh, and primered. So rivets first, I'll not bore you with the details of that, that's riveting, done. And now you know what robot chicken pox looks like. So back to me in my new craft room, where I've got so much room for activities and uh, then I'll get them primered and leave you with some glamour shots. So, there you have it. PVC pipe bat, done. Uh, I'll get it painted in the next video. And as always, uh, thanks very much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, you just know where to go there, down below. Work away. And remember, there are no stupid questions here. And uh, if you want to support my channel and help me make future videos, um, I've opened a Buy Me A Coffee account. There's a link there in the description. And uh, I'll leave you with some glamour shots. Bye.